Want to create a professional logo in Photoshop but not sure where to start? In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to design a logo. Let's dive in. First, let's ensure everything is aligned perfectly. In the top menu, click on View, then choose New Guides. Enter 50% for the guide and click OK. This places a vertical guide down the center of your canvas. Go back to the View menu, select New Guides again. Enter 50% and choose Horizontal. Then click OK to place a horizontal guide. These guides will help us center our design accurately. Pick the Ellipse tool from the toolbar. Hold the Shift key and draw a perfect circle. Now press Ctrl plus A to select the entire canvas. In the top menu, align the circle to the center both vertically and horizontally. Duplicate this circle layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Change the color of the duplicate circle to any color of your choice. Press Ctrl plus T to enter the free transform mode. Hold Shift and Alt together and make the size of the circle smaller by dragging inward. Move this smaller circle to the left side. Press Ctrl plus T again to enter the free transform mode. Hold the Shift key and make the circle a bit larger. Now select both circle layers. Go to the Layer menu, choose Combine Shapes, and click on Subtract from Shape. This will cut the smaller circle from the larger one, leaving a crescent-like shape. Duplicate this shape by pressing Ctrl plus J. Press Ctrl plus T to transform, then set the rotation angle to 180 degrees. Change the color of this shape to any color you like. Again, press Ctrl plus T, hold Shift and Alt together, and resize it a bit smaller. Pick the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape. Now select the Convert Pen tool and click on the rectangle's corners. Hold Shift and Ctrl and drag the corners closer to the center to create a custom polygonal shape. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate this shape. Press Ctrl plus T to transform the duplicate shape. Bring the anchor point to the center of the canvas. Rotate the shape by 30 degrees. Then press Enter. Now hold Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift and press T. This will copy the object and repeat the transformation, creating multiple rotated shapes in a circular pattern. This technique is called Step and Repeat in Photoshop. Select all the layers by clicking the top layer, then holding Shift and selecting the bottom layer. 
Go to the Layer menu, choose Combine Shapes, and click on Unite Shapes. This will merge all the shapes into one. Select the Text tool and type your main text for the logo. I'm using a custom font, which you can download from the link in the description below. Now pick the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection around a portion of the text. With the selection active, click on this layer and choose the eraser tool. Erase. Hide the background by clicking the eye icon next to the background layer. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus E to merge all visible layers into one. You can download a mockup from the link in the description. Open the mockup file. Double click on the smart object layer in the mockup. This will open it in a new window. Drag your logo into this window. Hide the background layer in the logo file. and close the window to apply your logo to the mockup. And there you have it. A clean and professional logo created in Photoshop. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Photoshop tips and tricks. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for the fonts and mockups I used. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.